of the tape, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Sandhagen versus Peter Yan. I've got the tail of the tape thrown up on screen right now. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Obviously, we got a massive advantage uh, in height to Sandhagen, but is Peter going to be able to overcome that? I don't know, man. It, it, Peter's so young, too. I, did, I don't realize how young Peter... Uh, Peter Jan is, but, uh, man, I'm excited, I'm, I'm very excited for this one, don't get me wrong, man, Jason Herzog, the referee, happy it's not that one guy that almost let, uh, Saint, Saint, Saint Fran die, um, like, it was bad, I forgot the guy's, how to say his name, but, he's a French guy, man, we got Joe Martinez in here making his, that's weird, man, I know Buffer has COVID, uh, he's given the uh, introductions for the fighters. Dieted for this one, man. And, uh, you know, Sandhagen probably should be rated number two right now. That That's really where he belongs. But it's interesting to me, too. If he beats Peter Jan, but he got destroyed by Aljamain Sterling in the way that he did, and obviously that's no disrespect to Sandhagen, uh, things happen like that in MMA. That That's MMA for you. But he got choked out in, like, I think a minute. Uh, you know, we're naked choked. But, so it's an interesting thing. If he wins the inter interim title, and, the, and there's a glove touch there from Peter Jan and Corey Sandhagen. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to shut up because we're about to get underway. Peter Jan, both guys ready, and they come out in the center of the octagon. Peter Jan instantly takes the center. Sandhagen circling around using his patented, uh, I mean, inv evasive footwork. He's just kind of circling around. He's got that nice high guard. Both guys do. Nice jab from Sandhagen really quick. Sandhagen had like a four-week camp for this fight, so it wasn't comp it was short notice, but it wasn't a crazy short notice compared to Dan Hooker's, which actually was. Dances as the fight goes on, I think he's probably gonna get caught with a takedown from Peter, you know, because when you switch southpaw to orthodox, uh, oh, two uh, a teep kick to the body and then a low leg kick from Sandhagen with that right lead leg from southpaw. He's looking quick, man. He's looking very very sharp, and. Uh, he seems like he's in good shape, so obviously physique doesn't tell you that completely, but, uh, you know, he seems like he's in good shape. Uh, nice leg kick, man. I had to fix something. The leg kick's from Sandhagen, and he's, you know, being evasive here, fainting, trying to get the range here down with. Jan, and Jan throws that oblique kick. Uh, Sandhagen gets out of the way. Sandhagen looked to rush in, and a big uh, overhand left from Peter that misses. And uh, Sandhagen looks to be the quicker fighter right now. But also, that's Peter in the opening round, man. Look at what Aljamain Sterling did to him in that opening round. Until the, until probably like two minutes left in the round, Peter was losing that that round. Ooh, and a, oh, I think there was a bit of an eye poke there. They touched gloves as, it, as if to say sorry from Jan. Jan seemed to poke Corey Sandhagen. Corey Sandhagen blinks it off, and they're back. Nice body kick, nice body kick thrown from Jan, blocked by Sandhagen, though. And Sandhagen looking to open up, throw some body strikes. Um, not trying to be biased in the commentary here, obviously. Oh, and a nice one, too, from Jan. It was a hard one, too. It ended barely on the end of those shots. Barely really landed. I forgot I should put my phone here, so I look like a normal human. Oh, and a nice right, nice right hook from Sandhagen. Oh, and two big left hooks from Sandhagen. Sandhagen, the left hook, left hook followed by a teep kick to the body, and Sandhagen's looking for a takedown. You know, I, I didn't, oh, and Sandhagen's controlling Jan up against the cage, the position that uh, TJ Dillashaw had on Sandhagen, and arguably is why Sandhagen lost that flight. Sandhagen's probably learned from that and realizes, oh, and Peter Jan covers up, moves out, and they're back in the open, open space, and these guys are trading, man, nice roundhouse kick to the body and a glove touch as they back off, man, a lot of respect between these two opponents, man, they got respect for each other. Sandhagen almost does that little karate blitz every once in a while. He at least has been fainting that karate blitz thus far into this fight. In a nice little high, right high kick, right roundhouse that seemed to partially land from Sandhagen. I, I feel like Sandhagen's been a lot more active here in this opening round. He's probably winning this round uh, on my scorecard. You know, Jan did stuff a takedown from him, but Peter, or, um, sorry, Sandhagen. Oh, and they're trading now. Sandhagen did get some control time. The jab of Sandhagen was looking sharp, man, but when Peter throws, he throws hard and he throws with bad intention. Oh, man. They're trading the left hook of Sandhagen is there. 
when they break out from that from that really close range fighting and they're trading in the pocket here up against the cage Sandhagen backs off Sandhagen needs to fight from range if he wants to win this fight man that's 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 what I feel as if is how he's gonna win this fight in a right hand and Peter Jan's covered up Peter Jan covers up a decent amount though man it's not something brand new to see the teeps to the body from Sandhagen are looking pretty good too they're fairly they're being fairly effective and uh, I mean, once again, man, Peter is controlling the center of the octagon for this for the for the this whole round, and a nice left gets through from Sandhagen, at least partially looked to get through. But there's some redness already on the body of Sandhagen as those body. Oh, and another another left roundhouse kick to the body from Jan that lands on Sandhagen. But Sandhagen's throwing back with the one two, and the leg kicks from Sandhagen are doing a lot of damage. Sandhagen shoots in again on a single. Oh, man, and they're trading in the clinch. Sandhagen goes like this as to say, bring it on, and they come back, and they're back to just trading, man. This is an exciting fight already. Oh, man. See, the kicks from Jan, there's a power difference in the kicks between Jan and Sandhagen. San oh, and a flop, and that patented, fl patented flying knee from Sandhagen goes up, and it's blocked by Jan, and the roundhouse comes out from Jan. Sandhagen gets out of the way. First round in the books. Feel inclined to give that to uh, oh, and both guys eager to get out there. To and they're back in, back in the center of the cage. That left hook from Sandhagen is gonna be there all night, from what it seems like. There's just a big power discrepancy in the kicks, man. Every time Jan lands, except except for what just happened there, when Jan threw a kick, it it wasn't as powerful. But once again, man, we're second round, 440 in that second round right now. Just a lot of feints parrying each other's jabs. Uh, I mean, Peter Jan has some of the best parries in the game, man. I From watching this, man, I don't know if he's improved on it since the last time I've watched him or I didn't notice it the last time I watched him, but he's parrying a lot of Sandhagen shots, and that's an important tool when you gotta, you're gotta you fighting a longer guy. But Sandhagen's thrown with some power, and so is Jan. Both guys landing. You know, oh, and a nice one. The jab cross, jab jab is what we're seeing a lot from of Sandhagen, and as well as with that left hook as they exit those close range ex exchanges. And uh, Sandhagen is, oh, and Sandhagen's got Peter Jan up against the cage, covered up, digs with the left hand to the body, seem to partially land. You know, the stance switching from Sandhagen is impressive. Oh man, and a nice body kick, hard body kick lands from Jan, but Sandhagen fires back with the leg kick. Sandhagen gets out of the way of a nice little right hand from Jan, and these guys are trading, man. Battle of the right, battle of the rear hooks right now. Each guy, Sandhagen goes southpaw and orthodox, his left or right hook, whatever one's rear is throwing hard, and then we're seeing a lot of right hooks from Peter Jan. The hooks these guys are throwing out are fast and sharp. So, uh, but the jab from Sandhagen 2 is so quick, and it's almost always in Peter Jan's face. That is one of the most annoying things. Oh, and a roundhouse kick that Peter Jan uh, eats to the body as he kind of moved away. Oh, and a little bit of a spinning back fist from Jan misses. Seemed pretty, pretty wild. But man, Sandhagen is, Sandhagen's looking pretty good. Oh, and a nice left hand lands directly on the jaw of Corey Sandhagen, man. The jabs of Sandhagen are good, man, but the, the body kicks of Jan, they're starting to add up. They're starting to add up. Nice body shot from Sandhagen. Nice body shot from Sandhagen. The jabs from Sandhagen too, man. They're just sharp. It's everything Sandhagen throws seems to be quicker, but there needs to there. Sandhagen's shots are snappy. Jans are thrown with intention and intention to really, really hurt his opponent. Not to say Sandhagen is not trying to hurt Jan because he is, but you guys know what I'm saying. Most of his shots are snappy. More than powerful. Oh man, Jan lands with a right hook and uh, misses a little, and partially seemed to land with the left hook that he threw. But Sandhagen is pressuring Peter Jan up against the cage. Nice leg kick. Oh man. Oh, these guys are trading. These guys are trading in a nice left hand. Nice cross from Sandhagen lands directly on the jaw. Sandhagen switches back to orthodox. Peter Jan's covered up a Peter Jan. Oh man, a spinning elbow and then a left from Peter Jan. That was thrown with intention, man. 
Sandhagen's getting out of the way. A lot of these Peter Jan shots, man. A lot of these Peter Jan strikes. Nice uppercut from Sandhagen lands, but Peter Jan is throwing wild and missing. Peter Jan is missing a lot of his strikes, man. The range of Corey Sandhagen is seeming to be a lot. Sandhagen will step in, and I think he might get caught as this fight goes on because he steps in into close range and could get caught. Man, this is very impressive. You know, see, Jan just fainted, almost a takedown, and oh, and now Sandhagen shoots in for a single leg. Peter is sprawled out. Sandhagen's head is directly down, and uh, oh, Jan has control of the head. It's gonna say he he had a bit of a headlock. He might try and snap him down, but he didn't. And they're in the in the clinch, man. Peter Jan is dangerous. He throws a nasty elbow that seemed to land. But man, Peter Jan's uh or sorry, Sandhagen's range is oh, and the knee from Sandhagen again. It didn't really land. It it was kind of just thrown. His his knees are good, man. They're crafty. Sandhagen's crafty, and Sandhagen's head movement is on another level, man. Every time he every time he gets that head off the center line and, and really commits to getting that head off the center line, Peter Jan hits air and nothing but air. And that right hand from Peter Jan misses. He switches back to southpaw, man. This is a really exciting striking fight. Oh, and a nice left hand, nice cross from Peter Jan that lands on Sandhagen, but Sandhagen seemed to roll with the shot. <clears throat> the volume from Sandhagen is. And the leg kicks, man. The leg kicks from Sandhagen are really adding up. I am inclined to give that to the Sandman. I mean, I'm going to look at the highlights. Oh, man, they're showing some of the body work that Peter did. And some of when Peter was making Sandhagen miss, you know, mm. you know Peter, Peter's finding the home. Oh, you know, now that they're showing this. I think I might give and, that. And the way uh, Sandhagen ten. steps Ooh. in, and it's almost like it's the one sort one. of a karate blitz when it, he throws his. Oh, and he might have staggered. He threw a left that landed on Peter. Peter was off balance when he when it landed on Peter's chin, but it stumbled him back a little bit. I don't think the judges are gonna see that as, as a, him being stunned, more so him just being off balance. But you never know. And then a little spinning heel kick to the body from Jan that lands. And it seems to be a lot quicker. But also that may just be because his output's been a lot higher thus far. But when Peter throws, he lands and he lands with a uh, fight-ending intention. But, I mean, the, the amount of stance changes from Sandhagen, um, if he gets Peter in any type of trouble, he's going to get taken down because, you know, he's splitting his... Peter can split his stance really easily because Sandhagen switches stances so much. Looping uppercut almost from Jan and Jan lands a right and a left, but then Sandhagen comes firing back. Sandhagen just nails him with a couple strikes there, man. Jan has such a tight defense though that the the shots barely land. They partially, and when I say partially, I mean barely partially are landing. Jan, when he lands, he's landing. I, I it's a really impressive thing, man. He, you know, San, when's the last time we've seen Jan? Jan just hesitated with a leg kick. That's that's pretty rare with Jan. But but Jan's defense is so tight that Sandhagen technically isn't landing a ton. So I'm interested to see what the stats are. But man, Sandhagen is kind of beating up Peter Jan right now. I don't. It's weird. Which I'm happy for, man. I'm a big Sandhagen fan. I just... You know, that last round maybe went to Peter. He landed some heavy shots, but Sandhagen landed so much. The head movement. Oh, and a left hook lands. But then every time Peter Jan lands a left hook, Sandhagen comes firing back with three or four more shots. So it's got to be discouraging to be Peter Jan. But then again, Peter Jan is so mentally tough. It's, it's, it's just a crazy fight. The left hook and the left cross from Peter Jan have been there all night, and they're landing. Oh! Sandhagen's hurt! A massive spinning back fist drops Sandhagen, and Sandhagen's down. Sandhagen's hurt. Sandhagen's covering up, but Sandhagen's looking for to set something up here. He's got a long. He's so long on the ground, man. He's dangerous here. But Peter Jan passes his guard. Oh, oh, and Sandhagen is on the ground with Peter, and Sandhagen's looking for. Uh, oh man, and then they're in that sprawled out position. Peter Jan is raining down ground and pound on Corey Sandhagen. Oh, man, and Peter Jan's looking to take the back of Sandhagen. Sandhagen more so is just in a backside control position. Oh, man. You know, Sandhagen's chasing him around, but Sandhagen's looking to roll through for a leg, which is not the smart thing to do, man. He loves his leg locks, it seems like. But now that they're back up, man, Sandhagen... 
I think Peter Yan dropped him with a, it was hard to tell if it was a spinning back fist or spinning elbow, but whatever it was, did a lot, a lot of damage. And, you know, now in the clinch, Peter Yan looks for an, a knee. Oh, man. That was a close round. I definitely give it to Yan. Definitely a competitive fight. And the knee from Sandhagen hits nothing but air. Peter Yan is, is very... Yan throws and misses. His shots look almost sloppy, but when they land, they look tight. It, it, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, man. Sandhagen's, in some, some areas, making Peter Yan look amateur, but 90% of the time, Peter Yan's just landing everything. But he's he's a lot more picky with the strikes he shows, throws compared to the constant output from Corey, Corey Sandhagen. But man, this this is a great fight. The jab from Sandhagen has kept Peter Yan at bay for a good amount of this fight. He needs to keep controlling him with that jab, it, you know, if he wants to keep finding success here. Nice body kick, man. The body kicks from Yan. When a one-two from Yan backs up Corey Sandhagen. Man. Oh, and another one-two from Peter Yan. Man, Peter Yan's jab is good. It's there. And then the left comes so hard, he lands. It's so fast. It's it's powerful. Man. Okay, well, see now Corey Sandhagen circling around the octagon, the center of the octagon, as Jan is in the center. And Sandhagen in on a shot. Pretty deep. And Sandhagen gets a double leg. Oh, but now a heel hook opportunity for Peter Jan. Peter Jan spins out because Corey Sandhagen was looking for a heel hook of his own from that 50-50. Now Corey Sandhagen is on the back of Peter Jan. A quick grappling exchange as Peter Jan and Sandhagen are up back to the feet. And, uh, oh, man. He, uh, Sandhagen shoots in again on a single leg. Easily stuffed, though, that time from Jan. And Peter and, and Sandhagen is... he When when Peter covers up, he, he covers up because his guard is so tight. But Sandhagen's grabbing that guard and pushing back. Grabbing physically, grabbing that guard. And, oh, and a right and then a left from Jan. And that rocked Sandhagen. Sandhagen throws a fairly sloppy spinning back. This man, once again, I'm a big... Oh, and big body shots from Peter Yan. Peter Yan lands with a left hook. Sandhagen breaks off, goes back to the center of the cage as his back was up against the cage when he ate those shots. Man, I'm a massive Sandhagen fan, but this is not my favorite thing to watch, man, because Peter Yan is is making Sandhagen miss now as this fight's going on. And he, not to say he wasn't making a miss earlier on, because he was, but uh, 23 body strikes to Peter Yan thus far in the fight. And, oh, man! Left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, man. Peter Yan is pouring it on Corey Sandhagen, and Corey Sandhagen looks like he's starting to slow down in the movement, and it's starting to get tired, and a massive spinning back fist throw from Peter Yan that misses, and then Sandhagen fires back with a right uh, elbow. Sandhagen looking to fire to the body now. Oh, man! The power from Yan as he switches stances. There's a 1-2, switches stances, 1-2. Sandhagen shoots in on a single, transitions to a double, Jan stuffs it, and now Jan is on the back on the ground. Sandhagen's trying to get back to the feet. Man, Jan is a better grappler, and Sandhagen said he was the better grappler, so it's it's interesting to see. Oh, oh, and he was looking for a bit of a Kimura there from the, from the, side, from the side control, I guess. Man, the grappling exchanges are fairly sloppy, but not completely sloppy because there is good technique shown. It's just... Parts of it get sloppy because Sandhagen's tired. I mean, both guys are tired during the fourth round of a fight between two guys who are strikers primarily, not grapplers primarily. But, you know, both guys are seeming to slow down, but Sandhagen's movement has uh, slowed down a lot, man. He's not sh throwing as much. He did throw a spinning back fist earlier in this round, but Sandhagen needs a finish. Sandhagen's ma making Peter miss, though. This is an interesting fight, man. This is a good, good, good grappling fight. Or, good, good fight. Now, the round ends. How do I score? Guys, how do... T Twitch, uh, YouTube, if I post this on YouTube. How do I score that fourth round? I, I'm i gonna listen in. Card, I have it 3-1 Peter, but mainly because I'm scared of being biased. And I'm scared of Peter. Because Peter will hunt me down and kill me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> man, they take the center of the octagon, man. Sandhagen needs this round if he wants even a chance of winning this fight. He needs this because that second round was close. Very, very close. And, and in fact, uh, I, I was gave it to Sandhagen originally. Then I saw the replay and I ended up changing that. But judges don't have that. So judges might give that 10-9. This could be 2-2 two to two going into this round. Man, this could be 2-2. Two to two. Uh, Jan 
no, not much has happened. He's took in the center of the cage. Both guys are fainting around, man. Uh, you know, the message from San Higgins Corner was talking about when he's going back, that's when he gets caught. He needs to keep those legs underneath him. When he goes back, he needs to be careful on the retreat going back. And, uh... It's, 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 this is a close fight, man. It could very well could come down to this round. Oh, man. Overhand left from Jan and then a left hook from Jan. What, the left hook caught uh, San Hagen and they both fire leg kicks at each other. Seconds apart, both landing in their leg kicks. No one's really checked a leg kick in this fight that I've noticed. Oh, and the knee from Sandhagen seemed to have the very least partially land, man. Oh, but then Peter is backing him up. With a, with a nice left hand. Peter Jan is so good, man. And, I, and I'm and i a massive, of course, Sandhagen fan. But uh, my prediction initially is probably going to be right about this going decision to Jan. But I'm not 100%. Nice body kick from Jan, man. Jan's pouring it on with the body kicks as well. Man. This is very impressive. Very, very impressive right now, man. Sandhagen throws, oh, and a left, both guys land, Sandhagen lands a jab, uh, Peter lands a uh, overhand left, or a, a, a cross, rather, it was more of a, more of a pretty straight cross than overhand, but it looks that way, because he's got a, he's got a high difference. <clears throat> man, Jan has such a sound defense, though, man, he, he's one of the best defensive boxers in the game right now, I, I really believe that, because he, he covers up so well with those Little four ounce gloves. It's really impressive to see. Very impressive to see. But you know, Sandhagen's back on back on his horse, man. He he's back to moving around. He's back to the movement that was winning him the first and arguably the second. And Sandhagen makes Jan miss, but Jan lands at the end of the combination. See, Jan throws three, four punch combinations. Peter Jan makes it or Sandhagen makes Peter miss. For those first three shots. And Peter Jan shoots it on takedown. Sandhagen stuffs it. But then a big left from Peter thrown and blocked by Corey Sandhagen. This is an intense fight, man. Sandhagen's jab is so sharp that it it's starting to really get through. The, not really get through. It's starting to partially get through the, the guard of Peter Jan. But, it, you know, I don't know that because I'm not Peter Jan. I'm not feeling that. I don't know if it's really connecting. I have to take a look at a slow-mo replay. But th this is a war, man. This is a war. Oh, and a nice left high kick from Peter Jan that seemed to, at the very least, partially land on the jaw of Corey Sandhagen. A beautiful left roundhouse, rather. Uh, it wasn't a high kick. It was a roundhouse. Oh! And, San and Sandhagen gets caught by Jan's shots, but then Sandhagen fires right back. This is a very entertaining fight, man. Very, very entertaining. And, and, uh, oh man. Sandhagen circling around the cage. This feels like it's the main event. <laughs> it really does. Maybe it's because it's been a fight. It's already been five fights on the main card, and it's a six fight main card, but I don't know. <laughs> Jan is so quick, man. When he when he throws, he's so quick. But P but Sandhagen is so quick all the time. So it's interesting. Sandhagen definitely is starting to th slow down, though. But with 45 seconds left, you got to think Sandhagen is going to start to give it his all here. And really try and, at least, at the very least, prove he won this round. Um, you know, or try and get the finish. Because he might need the finish. if he do Especially if he doesn't win this round, obviously. Or if he's not winning this round. Sandhagen needs to needs to knock Peter down or something if he wants a chance of winning this. And oh man, Sandhagen makes Peter miss. This is a crazy fight. This is this is close, man. I think Peter's winning this, but it, it's close. Oh, and the knee from Sandhagen actually seemed to land with 10 seconds left. Oh man. Sandhagen back to the movement. Four seconds. Spinning heel kick lands on Sandhagen. Flying knee from Sandhagen. They're trading until the final bell. Both guys putting on a show. Sandhagen feels as if he won. Peter feels most likely as if he won. Both guys. So you know what? I'm going to. Technically, I score that a 3 2 Jan. Technically. And, and you know, with you, if you discount the fact that. Okay, and they're walking around. <laughs> 